Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch and Sons and I wanted to talk to you today about a little product, a zoom spot. Now this is a, a small MMDVM hotspot. Uh, it's made by, or the actual top board is made by zoom, uh, zoom spot basically. Um, and what you get in the kit is essentially a, um, a top board which is just a little OLED screen on top of what is a little transmitter and some filters and some clever stuff going on on there. Um, you also get a, a Pi Zero and that's a Pi Zero. Um, there's also a case which is falling apart and you get an SD card. Now when we originally sold these, we sold these as separate parts and what we found people were, were cracking the screens. So we decided that we would obtain a case, put the whole lot together um, for you guys with the zoom spot and the, sorry, the zoom spot and the Pi Zero, then put them inside a case and supply a blank SD card for you to put whichever uh, MMDVM sort of product that you wanted to on, on that card. But then we found that people were not able to program the card. So we decided then to um, put the most popular um, application on there, which was PiStar, which is a, a product which is uh, free to download and free to use. And uh, Andy Taylor actually produces that, uh, that product. And that all bases along, I think it's Jonathan Naylor does the MMDVM program, which sits underneath all of that lot. So PiStar basically ties everything together, but the main muscle is MMDVM by Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Naylor. So all of that stuff is free. And, and as I say, we just do, we put these, we put that, that stuff on a card for you as a, um, as basically as a, just a courtesy really. So that's what you're getting in the card and in the package. So when you when you receive it, you'll find something like this, which is a, a self basically assembled case and it's tested and working. Now you only need to add your call sign and your DMR number. Now what I'll do is I'll show you very briefly how and where to get all this stuff from and what to do with the Pi Star uh, image so that you can actually get this on your home network. So we'll cut to probably a little bit on my iPad. So I've grabbed my iPad and what we're gonna do, the first thing, when you get this little box home, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually find the Wi-Fi connection. Now by, def by default, if this can't connect to an internet a connection or Wi-Fi point, hotspot, what it'll do is it generates its own. So what you need to do is go to your iPad, phone, Apple Mac, uh, PC, anything you like, Linux, doesn't matter. What you're actually gonna be doing is searching for the, um, the Wi-Fi. So you just do a little search and mine's not, mine's actually configured. So mine's not, not uh, coming up, but you'll see that one of these little options will be Pi Star. Connect to that and you're gonna use a password, I think of Raspberry <laughs> originally. So there you go. So it's just, uh, uh, just find the Pi Star hotspot and then just use the password of Raspberry and you should be good to go. Once that happens, then you can, uh, there's two or three ways to do this. If you, if you happen to know the IP address of this on the, on the phone, then you can connect to it via the IP address or you can put in, I think it's pi-star.local and then that will actually go to that, uh, to the setup page, which I'll show you in just a second or you can um, follow the link to the pi, uh, pistar.uk website. If you then go down to downloads and then download PyStar, which you don't have to do, because like I said, we've already done it for you. And where it says uh, pistar.local forward slash admin forward slash, if you click on that, it will take you to this sort of part here where it will ask you for a login. Now the login here is pi hyphen star and the password is raspberry and then enter and that will take you into your dashboard now what i've done here is if you then go into configuration you can then scroll all the way down to the bottom and then if you then say configure wi-fi do a little search um, here so you can say scan for networks and what that will do, that will take up to sort of 10 or 20 seconds. 
that will should do a search for all the networks and then you can see down the bottom here it will give you all the, all the available networks if your one's there then all you need to do is just say select fill in all the details of your your network save and connect and apply changes and then you're pretty much you're ready to go now if that doesn't work for you then there's another way so let me get rid of this so we go back right okay so if you then go to where it says pi star tools click on wi-fi builder enter your your details in there so your wi-fi uh, ssid and your wi-fi password click submit that will then generate a little file and if you follow the instructions here it will tell you where to drop that so simply all you do is remove the sd card from this from the zoom spot put it in a usb card reader um, and then just plug that into your computer whether it be mac linux whatever it is and then just copy just drop that file into the boot section of that sd card take that out and then put it back into the zoom spot and when you turn that on the the zoom spot will automatically connect to your wi-fi that's the plan anyway so once that happens you should be able to then connect back to your local network so your home network and then from your home wi-fi you should be able to then connect to this page if you can't then you really need to just repeat the process until you till it's actually it works for you but once that happens you need to start filling in some details here so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to select the mode that you're interested in so whether it be dmr d star or ysf whichever and then you need to go down and fill in your details now just here you know you want to put in your your uh, call sign um you know in case in my case it's m0tig then you need to put in your ccs7 or dmr id now i always recommend putting that in okay but you need to go to um there's a registration dmr registration uh, website where you need to go and actually register for that ccs7 you will need a pdf copy of your license so just submit that get the the code back and once you're, you're up and running with that it doesn't take very long to do so just where's that in there and away you go that will give you d star and dmr i think now once that happens you then basically apply the changes then you can actually put in the frequency you're operating on in this case we're operating on 434 but you can also use 438 800 um, but i tend to use 434 because it's nice and simple so once that in job done then you can put in your your location details and your um, I think it gives the latitude and longitude uh, fill in the other bits and pieces you want to mark the node type as private um, and the rest of it is pretty optional when it comes to DMR you need to put in a DMR master now I'm only going to talk about Brandmeister because I find that one a bit easier for me just put in um, something like Brandmeister 2341 and then you need to register for a hotspot security code now you go to um, brandmeister self-care for this um, so you need to pop along there register on the system and they will give you a hotspot um, password enter that password into that that area there and at that point i would just say apply changes so you save it and that will give you so that gives you dmr D star you need to register for D star use so you can register with your local uh, repeater keeper or you can actually contact ICOM um, I think there's a link on their website I think for registration and email um, and you can just register with them and then once you're on the system you're good to go so, so you can select that I always tend to register for the, the CCS7 ID because it just makes things a little easier and then once that happens YSF there's no um, no particular um, you know rules or, or any any sort of uh, special things you need to do no registration that I'm aware of um, the only thing I would suggest is for some radios you need to make sure that you've um, uh, selected uppercase host files and YSX pass through and that is pretty much it just hit apply changes and away you go now once that happens, if I get this out of the way, 
you should be able to then take any particular radio. Now I've selected three modes and I've got DMR, D-Star going, and I've got uh, YSF or C4FM. And what I'm gonna do is I'll put on an echo here for you. Now this is on unlink, so let me just always make sure you've unlinked. In fact, I think it was on D-Star. Let's just turn this on. Now, if you haven't looked at an ID52, they're absolutely lovely. Now, this is on an echo test at the moment, so let me just select unlink. So, I'm just going to unlink. Not linked. Right, okay, so I've unlinked from D-Star. And what I'm going to do, the first test I'll do is I'll put, uh, we'll, we'll go with DMR. So here what I'll do is I'll go to the echo. So I've programmed this up. Um, if you want any details of how to program the radio up, I am producing a little document which is not done yet, but I, I will produce that. So give it a sort of a couple more weeks. And what we'll do is we'll put that up on, on the new website. That'll be really cool. Um, so I'm going to connect to the uh, to an echo here. So all you simply do is a private call, and that now is repeating everything I say. So oh, yeah, this is um, basically now a, just a, an echo test. So this just tests the connection. So there you go. So we know that that's actually now working, but I've done with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink again. So again, I've programmed in the unlink. Just press the unlink. And that should now unlink. That linked. Job done. So that's DMR. Really, really easy. And by the way, this is a TYT handheld. We got these in stock. Um, they're cheap and cheerful and really easy to program. So thoroughly recommended. The um, D-Star stuff, um, I mean, I love this. This is the high-end sort of thing. I think we've now gone into the um, Yaesu, and this is the FT5D. Um, and, you know, both these radios are pretty high-end, so they're, they're, they're lovely. But what we do with this, again, it's a similar sort of process. I'm going to just go into, into Echo Test. And if you just select that... And, and in fact, actually, D stars much, much uh, quicker. And in fact, actually, D stars much, much uh, quicker. And also, I think it's better audio quality as well. And again, what we we'll do is we we'll just unlink from that. And that should now unlink. Anyway, that's now unlinked. I'm pretty certain of that. Now, now it comes to um, YSF. Now YSF is a little bit more complicated to set the radio up. Um, again, I will mention this in the in the um, the guides, um, but this is very simply. You need to program the radio up with your call sign. It won't work otherwise. And now we're on a hotspot. So at the moment, I've got two uh, two things going here. This is our local repeater. Well, it's actually my repeater. Um, actually working now and I'm not sure really what what uh, yeah, what what we're on now. but now if I go over to the hotspot and here I can just if I press on the GMX button that now will go through and you can see we're actually on on the on parrot so um, hopefully if I do this it should actually work Yeah, it is actually working. So um, that was on, on Parrot. So you can see just how easy these things are to work. It just needs a little bit of um, a work from, from um, for a, you know, probably a couple of hours work and you should be up and running very, very quickly. But three radios, three different modes, one tiny little uh, DMM, DMR, um, sorry, not DMR, MMDVM box. Now, if you can't use one of those, if you if you don't have access to radios and you you want to be able to use something, maybe 
um, maybe you're in a sort of a, a predicament where you can't actually use any radios or whatever. There are other options. You've got things like um, you've got a DV Mega um, Globe Trotter, which all the details are on our website. You've got uh, things like the DV Mega uh, DV Stick. Now these are really useful um, for people that maybe are in a hotel or something like that. And you can basically work all the different modes from your laptop and just use a headset and a microphone. It's really, really useful. Um, we do sell the cables, the USB cables. We sell these separately because most people have them and probably most of the time don't, don't need or want them. The other thing that we sell, we sell these batteries, these uh, battery packs. Um, and there is an alternative to the zoom spot we do the dv mega and this one's a dual band one um, and then that's a little this is an android bluetooth uh, board the beauty with these is that you can connect these to your pc um, or your i think believe your mac as well run a piece of software called uh, blue dv from david uh, pa can't remember sorry david um but you can, this piece of software, again, it's free. Um, and the guys do all of this, this work for, for, you know, for you guys for absolute free. It's all open source, or I say open source. Um, but main board, this connects to Android. You can also connect that to your computer. That plugs on the top. There's a little case. There's the little case, which is a bit fiddly to put together. Now we don't put these together for you, unfortunately. Um, and you'll need a little aerial there and I think that comes as a kit so you basically when you buy these you just get a bag of parts these these parts here and that should get you going um, and what else we got got another blue stack micro android I'm um, sorry that's the radio board that's the, the blue stack nearly forgot that right so there you go so that's normally what you get in the kit um, and away you go. So hopefully this has been of some interest. Now, if you really, really get stuck, please drop us a line. Um, you can email us at support at hamradio.co.uk or if you want to contact sales, then it's sales at hamradio.co.uk or 03452300599. Thanks for watching and see you soon.